Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for CuSO4 plus NHCO3. This is copper 2 sulfate, and then we have sodium bicarbonate, sometimes called sodium hydrogen carbonate. The first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation here. Really, all we need to do is put a coefficient of 2 in front of the sodium bicarbonate, and this equation is balanced. The next thing we do, we write the state for each substance. And that looks like this. So sulfates in general, they're soluble. Sodium compounds, very soluble. Carbonates often aren't soluble. Sodium carbonate, potassium carbonate, those are exceptions to that rule. But in general, carbonates are insoluble. So this copper two carbonate, that's gonna be the precipitate. It's a solid, it falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. Our soluble sodium compound, water's a liquid, carbon dioxide is a gas. Those are the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that's going to give us the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. We have our reactants and then our products. So in the reactants, I can see there's a sulfate ion right here and in the products. Those are spectator ions. Cross them out. Two sodium ions, again in the products. Cross them out. What's left? That's the net ionic equation for CuSO4 plus NaHCO3. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation. You'll note that the copper 2 carbonate, because it's a solid, we didn't split it apart into ions. That's our precipitate, so we keep that together. We also don't split apart gases or liquids when we do net ionic equations. If you count all the atoms up, they're balanced. And if you look at the charge, we have a two plus here. We have a two times this one minus right here. Charge on this side is zero over here. Net charge is zero as well. So charge is conserved also. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for copper two sulfate plus sodium bicarbonate. Thanks for watching.